Okay, uh, another episode of BFF, uh, special guest, CNMA, second time on BFFs. Obviously, this one, a little different. not as great circumstances as the first time we had you on. Um, and I was saying before Josh joined, we got quite the setup. I don't even know how it'll look when we do it because <laughs> we have two I, lawyers, right? Your, the, yeah. your lawyers are on well, here. Wow. Yeah, um, so I actually have my lawyer here, her name is Julie Gerchik, and then I have a video forensic expert, and he's basically just gonna be talking about the video, um, but yeah. Okay, so unless this has been like ongoing drama, obviously on social media, TikTok, with you and Jack in the video that we saw, which was what? This was, I feels like a long time ago now, October 2000, and no, when did the video come out? I think it was June, or it was, May 31st of 2021. Okay, so, so yeah. All June. It's been going on for a while. Now, yeah. as somebody, I'll start this way. As somebody who has been, I've been doing what I've been doing for 20 years, and I'd almost say I'm the league leader in controversy. Like, I, people, I've had people say things about me, which I vehemently deny, and it's been an ongoing, people love me, people hate me, everything. This look is unusual. I'm going to say that right off the bat because like having your lawyer and the forensic guy is weird. I've never done that, but it's your choice. But I do yeah, want to I say- came, I came in and I was like, holy shit, am I in the right Zoom room? I was, yeah. I like, what is, what is going on? I feel you. I feel you. Sort. <laughs> so is this your choice or their choice to be like, we want to be on the call with you? It's a little intimidating, I feel you. But no, I just- I want to talk about my emotional state and like, I feel like what I want to touch on is like how I'm doing and like, like the emotional questions that I know you guys are going to ask, but as for like the legal and like the, so what's going on questions, that's for them to answer because like, I don't want to, I'm, I'm trying to, I don't want to butcher anything. This is all like, now it's serious, you know, like social media. So, yeah. Along those lines then, is there some sort of official legal proceeding going on right now? So I'm going to take that. Hi, everyone. Um, uh, thanks for having me on. No. And that's really the point. Uh, there has been no police report filed. There has been no police investigation. There's been no civil complaint filed. There has been absolutely nothing by way of an investigation or any kind of legal proceeding filed. Honestly, at the end of the day, this is all just a video online. Right, so then though, but then that begs the question, if there hasn't been a legal issue, like why are you here? She can't, like there's nothing going on. She could theoretically answer for herself. Because obviously there have been allegations made, right? Obviously there have been legal allegations made. And at this point, after so long of just going back and forth online and it's all just social media talking back and forth it's time to actually bring in some professionals who are going to talk about what's really real and what's real is that there's nothing out there okay i personally again as somebody i think this almost makes it seem like something's real by involving legal when there is no legal but that's just my take like i i always think it's better to hear from the horse's mouth like i get I always get when someone says, I can't speak on it, there's a legal proceeding going on, it'll be used in court, but there isn't, we're not there. So that's my personal off the jump no, with I this. I, What's I, that? I totally understand what you're saying. Yes. I totally understand what you're saying. But I think that with how like blown out of proportion this has all got, it's now like to the point where I just like can't even like deal with this stuff anymore. Like it's literally just me kind of like focusing on my emotional state and then as everyone's like, what's going to happen next? Like, oh, she's 18 now. I turned 18 like a month ago. She's 18 now. Like, is something going to happen? Like, I just kind of like, all right, I'm going to let my team like just talk about this one and kind of like take this one because it's just like not even worth it for me to, you know. Yeah. And and obviously, Josh, Bree, feel free. I, yeah. I do think in a situation like this, and I'm not, and I've watched everything, I've seen everything, and, and we've said in the beginning what we felt, and I think we got crucified. I tended to be, yeah. I, I looked at it on my side. It's like just no, a I, little. I really appreciate you for that. Well, and, and it wasn't even necessarily like because we'd met or, or spoken. I was just. No, thinking, I don't think it was like a favor or anything. Yeah, I think it, it was, was like if my girlfriend did that in a second, like, 
I would never, I, it's a nothing issue to me. Like if, if I'm sitting there and my girlfriend climbs on me, now there's been all dispute on where this is going back. I will say the seriousness of these allegations both ways, I think it's kind of disgusting that it's being played out on social media when it's getting that serious because those are serious things and nobody knows what's right and wrong. Like you said, there's, there's nothing been filed. So, but it has gotten to this point, even this interview is very unlike BFF. So we want to treat it delicately. Yeah. Um, well, especially because I feel like, I feel like when you just keep bringing this uh, attention kind of to the, not you necessarily saying, I just mean like when people keep bringing the attention to the situation, it just got to fuck up two people's mental health. Like you and Jack can't be in the greatest mental health place when it's like this stuff is just constantly being brought online and just being talked about and then everyone's giving their opinions on you and what you should do and how you should live your life kind of yeah no for sure like if i'm being totally honest i literally haven't been on my phone the past month like i know that there's been like thousands of like youtube videos tiktok videos about me and just who people think i am and just talking about like just my character and I haven't seen anything and I just know that there's like, I don't know. I just, yeah, it's like, I, I obviously am not doing, you know, 100% because how could you be when there's like just so much hatred, you know, and like literally just so much cyberbullying. Um, yeah, on both parts, I could totally. Do you think, do you think like bringing it, do you think you bring in the lawyer team and everything? Do you think that's going to bring more attention to the situation? Or do you think that's to like kind of quiet people down or it's going to quiet well, people down? I, I think it is going to quiet people down because it's just like, I literally have my lawyer sitting right here next to me telling, telling you guys and whoever's going to see this now that there's nothing being done. Like you can't just like, you can't just like, claim with no credible proof because yeah you guys have never had anything like this on bff because you probably never had or very few i don't even know had people being accused of like an actual crime like an actual i i actually have been in a very similar in which there's no there's no i'm actually reverse like if people follow me i'm actually suing like it's very unusual because i've been accused of things usually it's if I, and, and it's so untrue that i am now suing the people saying it there is i'm the one who initiated so i get it i totally get that i don't know that the and i was trying to prove a point so i get the lawyer i read through all and we'll get to all this stuff a lot of it seemed like things you already said but even backing up because i haven't heard you say it what the the strangest part of this to me i guess is like you and Jack, like when you were on with us, you guys seemed like two peas in a pod, the original. Yeah, it seemed like you guys were like dating and everything, had like a relationship going. So yeah. what, like, do you have, if you look back on this, are you at any point like, oh, I should have seen a red flag there, there, that something was off with this relationship? Or are you totally caught off guard? And were you guys actually dating or never actually dating? No, so we never actually dated. Um, and was I, sorry, you asked if I was like caught It, it was like, well, it, it obviously, it I don't, my guess is you didn't see this coming. So when you look back, were you like, maybe I should have seen a red flag in this relationship somewhere that alerted that something was drastically when off between this, you two. When all this dropped on back in 2021, whatever, I was literally in shock. Like I was literally so just, surprised at like what what was being said because it came from from nowhere in in my opinion i was like this this is literally just pulled out of thin air um and it was yeah it was literally just as shocking to me as it was to everybody else on the internet what was your initial reaction to jack like did you reach out to him what did you say what was that conversation there was nothing so i actually no i haven't talked to him and literally since our last trip to Hawaii together. We, the last time I literally saw him was before I got on my flight and we haven't talked since. since so that, no what way. was the delay between that video? What, the, when did that incident, the first, when the, the like quick rope supposedly, when did that come out versus when it happened? Wait, I don't understand what you're saying. Like, so like the, when, that video, when, was, that video, when was that filmed? Like what day, like oh. when in the year was that filmed versus when it was posted? So that was filmed in November of 2020, and the 
claims or the tweet was posted in June of 2021. And then now it's February of 2022. Got it. So when that came out, you didn't reach out to Jack, be like, what is this? Nothing. Uh uh-uh. uh. Huh. Were you and guys already reach broke? out to you? Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, because he didn't post it. So I was obviously furious. I've never been through anything like this. Last time I came on, you guys saw like little squirrel girl, 16 year old dancey TikTok girl. I was like, what? Like, I had no idea how to deal with any of this. I feel like I didn't reach out, didn't even say anything because I was just like so emotionally, like, and personally, like, in shock that I, I didn't even think about like talking to anybody. I, I think I was just kind of more like, so did you not text anyone or reach out to anybody? Like even Jack's friends or something like that being like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Like, I feel like this isn't right. What you guys are like, did you reach out to anyone at all? I literally don't No, I, I, I think I maybe reached out to the guy who tweeted the tweet and was like, you know, what you're saying is a lie. Um, like, I don't, I don't remember what I said, but I think I was just kind of like, what are you saying? Like, you know, that's not true. Why are you talking about that on his behalf? And then what does someone like Jack's friend or like say to that? Like, have Never you had any of them? None have you had ever responded? None of them so, has ever responded. Okay. The original then looking back on it, 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 total shock. There was nothing where you're like, hmm, maybe something weird is happening between us that would I, I don't think anyone can predict what happened, but that it, it just, I guess, red, red flags, like, huh, there's something going on. Because you were making a ton of content with him. And even one of the things that stuck out to me, and again, the only truly people who know what happened are you and he. Yeah. You and but, Jack, yeah. Yeah, that I was struck by him saying, he he made it seem like this was repeated behavior, but then he kept making videos with you. Like, it's like he, he, he'd say something happened and then you guys would hang out, make more videos. Almost my original thought, and again, it's not an excuse either way. It's like, well, why, why do you keep doing this? Like, you're, you're saying there's these things happen, you don't like it, it's uncomfortable, and then you make more content together. So there's anything in the lead up where you're like, this relationship is crumbling? Well, okay, so I've said this before, but I was like, I like really, really loved him. Like. I've been in like two previous like long-term relationships and I was like, I'm going to get married to this guy. Like, this is the one, like I was so stoked on him and he like was loving making the content because of like the views I, that it would get. And it would get a ton of views on my accounts too. I think we both kind of like saw that as a business transaction as like a business deal. But then for me personally, like I was personally between us, like super into it. And he knew that I was, and I think he also knew that he wasn't, and that's where things got messy. And I think that, yeah. So did you realize he wasn't into it and you were still pursuing it or you, you didn't realize? Well, I've talked about this. I talked about this in my article, basically about how, um, like I, we would kind of just play this game and go back and forth where we would kiss. Also, I just want to reiterate, we never had sex we literally never did anything other than kiss and like most of it is seen on the internet like you can find videos and tiktoks of it um but what i was gonna say is what was i gonna say well i was asking i i was like you so you said you really kind of fell for him or in love with him and he you you don't think he felt the way now you're saying that looking back I was wondering did you realize that in real time continue to pursue or you didn't realize it so we would always have this kind of like back and forth where we would like I'd be like Jack like I really like you and then he would be kind of just like oh like I just want to like feel things out right now let's just like keep making videos keep doing content keep traveling together just kind of like play it out, we'll see where things go. And I was like, oh, okay, like, that's cool. I'm stoked with it. Like, I was only 16. And I feel like I was just, like, just, just, just happy, just happy, like, making videos, making TikToks, this was all new, making, like, just doing stuff. And I I didn't really, like, think about, you know, I was like, I was 16. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have a bunch of stuff here that we can get into. And part of why I think you joined was, and we've gone over, I think, the back stuff of it. Um, 
unless you, Bree or Josh, have any more questions. But we got a bunch of uh, the, the lawyer and the forensic evidence, so to speak, that we cool. can get. So the reason I should have probably said this earlier, a reason that they're on is because while I was kind of doing my time off, um, I had my team kind of just do some like investigating and like like looking into everything that was happening and like what was what was going on and they found some stuff that like was a they yeah they found some stuff i'll let them talk about what they found sure and again i i this is one of those things it's like only you two know i will say from my experience i also when i felt like i've been wrongly because it's like th that's a normal i would say thing like what is going on and why and i guess before we get into your stuff the jack's video the one thing that he one of the I, I'd say the more inflammatory claims he made against you and just again clarify it is that you were naked and climbed into his bed without like him telling you which you've denied that yeah like so totally made up well okay let me tell you a story so he one of the stories he told was that I like put my legs around him in a bathroom or something like that and he would take kind of parts of the the story and just just put it out. And out of context, a lot of the things that were being said, like obviously look terrible. And um, then like the story, sorry, I'm just trying to be slow. I get it, take your time. It, it, again, it's hard because I don't want people looking at me be like, oh, Dave's disagreeing, but half truths. There's stuff that you can say that are truth. And, but if you don't tell the whole story, we'll look bad if you don't know the whole context. So I get where you're getting at with that. Thank you. One of the things he said was um, like that I put my legs around him in a bathroom. And this, the full story of that was like, we had gone to this party. We were, we were fighting. We got to the party. We were kind of like separated. He was with some guys. I was with the guy. I was like talking to this guy. And, um, he basically walked past me, kind of gave me like the death eye. It was just like, like, okay, like you're going to be talking to somebody else, you know, would, would get jealous over these things, which was the confusing part of it. Kind of going back to what we were talking about before, because it was like, you're saying, are there any red flags? But like, it was so confusing and so no, no lines, you, you know, because no. you guys like weren't dating, right? So you weren't, weren't dating, dating, but then you but were like, okay. But, when I but why would he get jealous if yeah, he had no feelings, right? Exactly. So he got kind of jealous. I, I was like, left this other guy, went and talked to Jack. I go, can I pull you into the bathroom really quick so we can talk? It was only a private place in the party. Yeah, of course. We go in. Hey, I just want you to know, like, I'm in this for you. Like, I came here for you. I want to, like, just talk to you. Um, like, gave him a hug, kissed him. He kissed me back. And then, like, we walked out of the room together. You know what I mean? So it's just like... Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and we'll get into, we, I, we cut you off on why the lawyer and the forensics, we'll get to that in a second, but I think this is questions first. Motivation. Like, do you, and it's something I've wrestled with, do you have any idea, like, why this is going on? Because it doesn't seem like there was some huge incident that would have predicted any of this. So, like, what, like, why? Why is this going on? It doesn't seem like it's, it's healthy or good for either of you right it's not like there's no way jack's enjoying himself right now like he's he's getting dragged into crazy shit too so it's like mm -hmm. what would have been his motive you know i really don't like i don't know i have my own personal opinions like you said like the only two people that know really what happened are him and i and i have things that i feel in my gut but it's just my personal opinion like I don't know I don't know what the motivation was I, I wish I could tell you and I wish that I knew but it's just like it's crazy to me too it literally is so I don't the, the last time you guys talked were was it on good terms and then all of this came out um the last time we talked like in person yeah like did you have or, a big fight texting, and then all of this came like out We'd actually gotten in an argument before the fight. Or the fl Oh, this was um, when I talked about in my first video back in June how I basically told him that I didn't want to do videos anymore because I just wanted to, 
be able to be a teenage girl and like not feel like I was like tied down in a relationship that wasn't actually a relationship. I just felt like it was super toxic for me because I was like super into him and it just wasn't reciprocated. And I finally came to the conclusion that like, I didn't have to make videos with anybody else to like have him be doing well. And then I just wanted to personally like go venture out and pursue new relationships. So I told him that I wanted to make a video and he said um, that he didn't want to make a video because he thinks it would be bad for the brand. And he just didn't want to do that. And so that's the last conversation we had was we basically just got in an argument because I said I wanted to be over and he told me that he thought it would be bad for the brand. And what about, was- what about too, after all this came out, Jack, and it looks like it's blurred out and I didn't see the evidence on ours that, uh, was it anonymous other people he claimed like, hey, there's similar claims against Sienna from other guys. I don't think they were identified. Is that true? I think that that's like they were. So I, I think it's, you know, this maybe this is why the lawyer is on the show, but it's exactly like you said. So there's apparently somebody said that there's other guys, but we've heard nothing. Again, no police reports, no police investigations, no complaints. And Sienna herself hasn't heard anything. So yeah, they're like not credible. There's I mean, literally anyone... nothing out there. Nothing right. out there on this. Okay, so it, moving on, a good segue to to why you guys, I believe, have joined in. You, if you want to say it, Santa, you were kind of, I think I cut you off, but why you, you brought your team with you. Well, so, like I said, I just, I have like a lot of, obviously, like emotional stuff about this. And I feel like me getting into like the logistics about, what's actually like going on with some of the botting stuff that's happened and just some other stuff that they found is just too much for me to handle. So that's why I have somebody else here, well, two other people here with me, just kind of like talking about the logistics. Yeah. So we have this first evidence, the forensic video that we can play. Let's play it. I watched it right before we came on. and there's a forensic company to determine the video of her trying Jack on the couch is credible evidence of accusations against Sienna. The National Center for Audio and Video Forensics was retained to perform an analysis on a cell phone video posted to social media. I was asked if the video can be used as credible evidence of the accusations against Ms. Gomez. In short, no. The posted video is not credible evidence of these accusations. Here are some points that led to this conclusion. Let's discuss the length of the video. It is very short. In fact, it is only about two and a half seconds. What happened in the moments before this or after this? No one knows since video before and after these two and a half seconds was not posted. Certainly, what happens in the seconds immediately before and immediately after this video are very important to understanding what is really going on between Ms. Gomez and Mr. Wright. This video gives us no context at all. The video component of the post that is on social media has been altered from when it was originally recorded. We also know that the audio is not original and has also been altered. Therefore, we don't even know and can't tell what the original video actually looks or sounds like. Now let's also consider what we can see of Ms. Gomez's hand and body position. Her right arm is hanging down by her side. There is almost no bend in her right elbow. If we follow her arm down from her shoulder, past her elbow, and to where it is most likely positioned, it appears to be positioned on the right leg of Mr. Wright. So what does this tell us about the posted video? The video is not original. The video has been heavily altered. The video provides no context to the events. The video is not credible evidence of the accusations against Ms. Gomez. I feel like that's what me and you did, Dave. We could be fucking forensic people. I feel like that was a bad CSI video. Of, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. a crazy video. Like, I, I, I'm interested to see what people think. My instinct is people are going to be like, that's a guilty video. I agree with what's said in it, but it felt like a bad movie. So, uh, to me, that's how that, like, felt. It felt... Lawyer. Was so the that's... original video, like, did you ever see the original video of that being taken, Sienna? Like, was it longer? Like, did they cut it down? Like, do you know anything about that video? Did you even know it was being taken? Uh, no, no. I've and I agree with the facts of it's so short 
Like, why is it so short? Yeah, that's I agree what with the points thing. in the video. I just think it comes across like that. No, is like a second grade like school. No offense if it's the top left, but that no, was I, like I it was like one of those train warning videos. You know what I mean? <laughs> when they're like telling you don't go on the no, train I tracks and shit for school. I understand that this is like it's so intense, but I feel like there's just like that. It's, but it's, you can it's say, it. yeah, like, and, and, and Sienna, you may have realized or not. Like, I find, and this may be the case with you. It may not. There's people. I'll use myself as an example. There's people who like me, and they believe everything I say. And I, I think I have like 20 years of telling the truth, so it helps. But then I have people who do not like me. And I could cure cancer and it'd be like, you didn't cure it fast enough. Like we still hate you. Um, things like this without it going further and more evidence, there's going to be people who believe you and there's going to be people who don't, but yeah. like that video, I don't think it's going to sway. Like I feel the same way about that original video as I always felt. I think you bring up good points. How is it so short? There's multiple people around the room. So if you're going to create, Create, uh, do some sort of sexual crime. You got to be a real lunatic to do it oh, in yeah. a, a room Incredible. of people yeah. where American there's cameras. Psycho. And it's like if people thought he was in danger or something, you wouldn't film that. So I, I agree with all of that. Um, I just but, think that the people that would have sided with you probably would have done it without that video. Like they would have came to that conclusion from watching the video without like the whole. Uh, it's a he said, she part. said. Yeah, and it really it is a he said, yeah. she said, which sucks about the internet and the situation. It's, it's such a difficult, I, guys, I don't know what, like, like who's, who's been through, like, who knows how to handle this? You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, nobody, like, it's such a difficult thing, but I feel like Madi, the guy who made the video, um, he literally is like a video forensic expert. And, and that's the top this. left. Yeah. He's right here. Yep. He, he like does What's this up, with like drug deals, crimes, like, um, rapes, uh, sexual assaults. Like this is his job. Like, so let's, all right, then let's head. He, yeah, maybe so. he needs a better, um, TikTok marketing guy. Maybe he's used to court things, but go ahead. Speak, speak on the video then we should let you go. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you brought up the, he said, she said, so that's not my department. I don't deal with, um, what people say to each other, post online <clears throat> with regards to their comments. I deal with the video evidence. Somebody wants to make a statement. Fine. They can say what they want to say. But then if they put a video out there and they say, well, this video is going to be used to support my statements. OK, so that's where I come in. And that's kind of uh, what it seems like might have happened here. Somebody puts a video online and says this video is going to be used to support my my accusations. So I was asked to to, to determine, well, th does this video do that? Can this video be used as credible evidence to support the accusations? And I analyzed it, I looked at it, I looked at lots of different components about it. I came with the conclusions and then we made this video to, to, to you know, play on your show. So it's kind of easily watchable, uh, cartoons and everything. But, but that was the point of, of my getting involved was to, to figure out, well, you know, is it even fair or appropriate for somebody to come and use this video to say, well, this is my proof. Here's my evidence that this, this accusation really happened. And no, it's not credible evidence. What happens, and this is not a Sienna question, have you been paid to do this in the past where you don't produce a result because what you, you, you can't corroborate? Like, obviously, if you looked at this video and let's say you felt differently, what happens then? You just take the check and don't put the video out? So I, let me just jump in for a second. This happens all the time with exploits that are hired for any kind of legal matter. At the end of the day, you are hired and you are paid for your expert opinion, whether you happen to end up agreeing or not agreeing. And that's really important because otherwise you wouldn't survive in a court of law. You wouldn't survive in this business. Right. So in that case, any course case, obviously he wouldn't be used again. It just would never be right. brought up. Credibility. And credibility yeah. at the end of the game, whether you're on TikTok or in a courtroom. Yeah. And, and so, again, I and I can't speak for Joshua Brick. My original take on this whole thing really has not changed. Like, I never thought the video rose to anything that I would be worthy of this controversy. Like you said, the other stuff, there isn't video. It's just one person's story versus the others. Um, 
And, and yeah, I don't I, think I don't think the video proves anything. If I just look at that video, I, I think I still agree with what I said when I first same. saw the video. Is that like you can't you can't make anything just from that video alone? That video could have been taken with of me and like my past exes, like of them on me at a party. It could have been taken of literally any couple I think I've seen in high school. But it's always going to be a he said she said where no one else besides Jack and Sienna is ever really going to know what happened. Yeah, well, that, well then it's the second video too. I think it's the second video where everyone's freaking out now because he had a lot of allegations against you and, and it's like, why? Why is he making them up? Why is he just coming out of the blue and saying these things? I think that's why people are really like, what the fuck's yeah. going on? So let me let me just say one thing. Let me say it about, about the video we were just looking at. So, you know, what's significant about that is that that is according to them, that is the only, I mean, that's real proof, right? And what we all need to understand is there is no credible proof there. It's not, there's not one iota of proof. Here, as you've just seen from Marty Gabor's video, that two and a half seconds, first of all, it's two and a half seconds. Nobody has any clue what happened before or after. But second of all, it's been altered. And I think that's really important. I don't want that point to get lost. It's been altered, both visually and the audio. So it really is proof of nothing. And that's the only thing that they've actually shown. Yeah, that I think that goes to the what Bree and Josh. I uh, and again, we did get roasted for it. I, that video never. I watched that and I was like, people killed that. I was like that. Yeah, that they crucified us nothing. for saying that. That, yeah, that didn't people rise hated anything. Us for that. I didn't need all the other evidence. I already did that. But then, like Bree said, you get all these. It, it, it's just so crazy. And you said, Sienna, you're not sure why all these accusations. I also thought. It was interesting. Like I, the, my initial reaction when I saw his long video is how cut up it was. It, it was like a jump cut every two seconds. If people have watched yeah. when I've done it, they're generally one stream of conscious because I, yeah. I know what I just can't screw myself up because I'm telling the truth. But Bree brings up a good point. Like why? Like why would he be posting 17 minute YouTube videos like bawling his eyes out on the internet if there was no truth behind what he was saying? Look, Correct. here's the thing. I'm, I'm going to jump in again. Here's the thing. We can't speculate as to why he did it, why he did it or what he thought of it. We can't speculate. But, you know, to Bree's point, they're nothing but statements. They're just statements. And so without that first video we were talking about, it's just he said, she said. They're just statements. Why he did it, we don't know. Uh, what we do know is that it's had a huge, taken a huge toll on Sienna, both professionally and personally. A really, really significant toll, and um, I think that's something that's you know important to focus on. Yeah, I mean that sucks. Nobody should have to go through that. Obviously, if his allegations are true, you lose sympathy. But nobody knows. This is really not legal. This is a war for public opinion, mm -hmm. yeah. and obviously, yeah, yeah and, and nobody and wants to go through this. And that's a main reason why I have experts in their field here because. You can either be trying to win in the court of public opinion or the actual court of law. And I have two people here basically saying there is no fight in the court of law. This is this is literally just a she said this. Oh, no, he did this. Oh, like no one's it's literally it's 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 like unwinnable. For so so if you were like if you were so confident in uh this like obviously all being a lie like you know your truth you know what you did w would you not try to sue him for defamation of character so i knew you were coming there so we were going <laughs> to jump in on that so um all i will say at this time is we're considering all our legal options including defamation lawsuits against multiple individuals Okay. It's also a horrific thing to have to go through as a public figure. I had to yeah. weigh all those decisions. Your everything about you will be an open book to everything. The thing I would say, and I don't mean to keep going at the lawyer, the forensics, is what has worked in my favor when I've been in situations that I would not ever have dreamed I'd be in a millionaires. If I know my truths. So I know I can go on any program, I can say anything, I'm never gonna perjure myself because I know what I've done and I haven't done anything. So I'm always willing to scream from the rooftops and, and you wanna talk to me? I, I beg to talk to my enemies like because I know what I did. So I, I'll have every answer at every turn. That, that's all I'd say, like Sienna, if you, if you know the truth and your truth is the truth and Jack's truth is not, you can't ever trip yourself up because the, you can't ever get in trouble for the truth. Yeah, of course. Um, so the yeah. second piece of evidence, and this this was. Can I, 
Yeah, go ahead. No, I, I was just gonna say I, every everything I say is like it's not it's not planned. It's just me being like, what happened? Tell you. There yep. you go. That's what happened. Like, yeah. Yeah, and and you don't like I get what they're saying up above, and and even like they're experts clearly, but there's always the perception somebody that you're paying to be on your side is going to be on your side. That's just the nature of how people look. This other like this evidence too, the summary from the report. This was useless to me, um, and it essentially proves that there was botting going on in a lot of it. Like people leaving basically bots against you leaving comments. But to me, that's yes, that's like to me internet 101 in a weird way like that. People take cheap shots. People are going to you guys are battling for public opinion. That that's what it is. And it's going to be dirty. We can show you, though. Let's show what we have here. Oh, OK. So basically, it's a long it's a long story short. They, they did forensics again on cyberbullying and we and they found which I don't even know we're gonna go through details because it's pretty compelling that there are a lot of accounts that are set up just to say really horrific negative stuff about Sienna they're not being run by humans they're being run by bots um, and there is proof all of it like kill yourself I want you publicly lynched so I can cut you die 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 you're a whore all sorts of horrific shit by accounts that are fake new and again I I would say this is unequivocally true that this is happening. Um, what it has to do with what actually happened, and I deal with it the same, but it, 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 it's a war for public opinion. That, and, and this is dirty tactics, and I'm sure it's happening. Like, I don't, I'm sure it's happening. So I'm just gonna, again, add something here. It's not just dirty, it's illegal. So what we did is the, the report you referenced was by Alex Partners. And we have a team of four consultants who together have over 65 years in cybersecurity and investigative experience. And they've been working for the FBI, for the US military, for other agencies. So they're the real deal. And they came up with a number of conclusions, including what you read, uh, that there's botting going on, that there's an incredible amount of botting going on. They had something with like a thousand comments that they had sampled. And out of the thousand comments, <clears throat> they found that the majority were bots. So it, it's 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 something though that we've actually become kind of used to. We kind of shrug off, like of course there's body going on. But I do want to make the point: it, it's illegal, and we take that very seriously. We, as the team here, are taking that very seriously, and we're looking into exactly what we're going to do about it. Well, and Dave, like you said, it's a it is it's core to public opinion, and so when you can buy people that in 17 seconds or whatever, however long after your video is posted. Influence the entire comment section with stuff with, they say, right? Because it's gonna, it's the, whatever people see first when they get into that comment section gonna, after, is, yeah. That's yeah. exactly what's going on. That's, that is, that's what's going on. Are you insinuating um, that Jack did it? The botting? Good question. Yeah, we don't, we don't know who did it yet. So, and again, it, it, it really, Going back to the, the severity of the accusation should not be being tried on social media. I, that's clearly not the, how you would want to do it. And you have no choice in my mind but to respond because of how yeah. it's being handled. But even like the botting thing, it's such a serious, it, 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 it's like the internet and the, I guess that's sort of the world we live in. This is a new era, TikTok, era, your rise and now dealing with this, something that people shouldn't have to deal with. Um, and again, it should be held if actual charges legally, nobody's yeah. going to know that he said, she said, um, ever. Yeah. Well, so, and, yeah. Like what, what is your, to, to, I think everyone gets the point. And frankly, I think people decide watching you and hearing is like, and they may have already decided, do we like her? Do we trust her? Is she believable or is Jack believable? And I, I bet Jack fans before side with him, your fans uh, side with you. And like, I've never talked to him personally. So I may talk to him and be like, oh, he's believable. Like it, 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 it's hard to tell. But what, yep. when we had you on the first time, Sienna, your rise to fame, like you said, the squirrel, all that. And mm -hmm. now you've seen, I would argue, the negative side and you've seen it in a fast, like, up yeah. and down type thing. So where are you at? Like, what is your, like, I'd be surprised if anything 
more came of this besides that he said, she said, and people, how they perceive you positively or negatively. Where is your head at in terms of social media content future for you? Yeah, I feel like what I've learned is just that I can't value, like put my value into those things because I feel like being 16, 17 is such a vital time in your life. And especially like being now 18 in the years that are to come and having such like a fast change in my life was just like, I don't, I don't even know. Like, I feel like, sorry, just one second. It's a lot to handle. <laughs> um, I just feel like I just had a lot of change in such a short amount of time that I started to kind of value the wrong things, like put everything into social media. And after this, after seeing how bad it can be, as well as like how extremely like good it can be, I think that I just enjoy life way more when I'm just like actually present, and like surrounded by people that literally don't blink an eye at any of this. Like they just like me because they like me and they want to spend time with actual me, not like CNMA, you know? And as for like social media, is that what you asked that too? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. As for like social media, I don't know. I might like, might post a video in two days, might, wait a year like i literally couldn't tell you because i feel like the most important thing to me right now is just like genuinely liking life rather than like wanting to like post you know like i literally don't care about any of those like materialistic things now as much as i did in the past they're all so flashy so would that be the advice that you'd go like give yourself? It seems crazy, but like two years ago, like sitting here now, be like, "Hey, Sienna, maybe like do this differently." Not even two years, literally yeah. not even two years, but um, yeah, I don't. I and, don't and know. Last time we had you on, you had you were blowing up sponsorships, things like that. Have have your sponsors stayed by you? Have you lost them? Like, how's that been? If I'm being totally honest with you, I have not been caught up on the business side in literally this, this second round of videos happened. I got a flight and I left. Like I haven't looked at my phone. I haven't been caught up on anything business. I haven't been caught up on anything legal. I mean, well I have, but like, that's why they're here. Um, so I don't. Is somebody respect. protecting you from that? What do you mean? Like I, that, that seems I surprising can't. to I, me. I'm a very like sensitive person and I feel like I just get like, I just get invested in things and like, I just couldn't, I, I have to like take care of like my, I know it sounds so cheesy, but like I have to take care of like myself right now because I feel like, and Josh, I feel like you probably could understand this too. People think of like social media people as like TV characters or like, you know, like how everyone's like weighing yep. their opinion on like kids in euphoria right now. Like people literally just treat, us like we're like we're characters like we're not real people and that's like not true at all like i'm very sensitive and like things that people say obviously like hurt me you know and like that's totally just, totally like, but I, my, my only thing is you have to like somebody has to know if we deal with it the same like advertisers being like oh we gotta pause we're gonna like somebody has to know yeah 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 no it's not yeah, it's all being like, that's all definitely like being taken care of. It's just that I, I'm focusing on like that right now. Cause so it's I, on pause like, until it's on pause yeah. till you're if I were to hear, And I'm sure you get that. Like you've been through some. So yeah, I'm different. I like I, I I on my side, I handle everything a little differently and I wouldn't advise anybody to handle it the way I handle it. <laughs> it's like if I I know that I'm innocent, I don't like public opinion swaying. So like I go on a war, if I find out like an advertiser is like, oh, we're, we're, we're going away like on false allegations. Well, I'm going to let the world know that like that you're doing that because anybody can make up anything. But I also handle things yeah. differently. Uh, and, and again, I've had 20 years of a buildup to deal with this. this yeah, like I'm, not a year, <laughs> not a year. So it, it's very different. The thing when Sienna says, you know, she's kind of been off social media. I mean, the thing is she has had to deal with unbelievable amounts of cyberbullying, and it's real and it's, it's, it's really, it's traumatic. It's just unbelievable, horrible, horrible, hateful comments that I know you guys have all seen. So it's, you know, she says she's sensitive. She is sensitive, but it's also, there's a reality of what cyberbullying does out there. And, you know, I know you guys have all seen what's happened with other figures and, you know, and public figures, but it's, it's been really, really, 
it, it's just been really horrifying to see. Would you ever want to sit down with Jack, like private off camera, and just be like, yo, what happened? Up? Like, well, yeah. That's a loaded question, guys. <laughs> well, I, mean, I don't know if it's that loaded. Uh, I just, would you want to get to the bottom of it? With like, I, I would with the people who have accused me of things. I, like, I'd love to know. I think that we, I, I don't, I, I don't think he would, but I mean, I, yeah, like just to talk about because the, you guys where are, things the, went wrong, like what right, yeah. happened. Yeah, I mean, it's like an ex boyfriend that was never an ex boyfriend that somehow is now a public breakup. But it's not just a breakup because it's like also a crime like allegations of a crime i like i think if you told me today like oh in an hour you have the ability to either like sit down with him or not i don't think i could do that like i i think like i just am so like emotionally kind of like exhausted from everything that this situation has brought that i like i just don't think i could like even want to talk about it like Dave, I know you're a fighter. Like you, you obviously like are like punch, punch, punch. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. for me, like this is literally so new. And when I was on the podcast last, like I, I was like, I didn't have any hate. Like it was just like all like sunshines, butterflies, and rainbows, and like squirrel dances and body positivity videos. Like, yep. you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's quite the turn. Um, that I, that's everything for me. I appreciate you coming on here. I don't know, Bree, yeah. Josh, you got any final questions? No, I don't think I have anything else. No, I don't think and so. I appreciate you coming on. And I mean, again, if the truth on your side, hopefully it all works out. And, yeah. and it, it, there's so much he said, she said it, it, it. I find you to be believable. I've never talked to Jack. So, I, you know, I, it, it, it's a tough situation that I wouldn't wish anybody going through. So, no, uh, but appreciate you guys coming on. Thank you. Yeah, I believe in that too. I the truth will come out sometimes. All right. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. So, what'd you guys think? I mean, dude, when I tell you I was fucking shocked when I joined this Zoom call at the start, I, I don't know if, like, Brianna, I think Brianna giggled. I don't know if you saw Brianna, but I was kind of, like, looking around, like... <laughs> I couldn't... What, that was, like, so weird. It felt the, like we were in courtroom. What did I just join? Yeah. I mean... I think it's, I, I, I don't know if my opinion very much changed from the last episode we filmed, like not the last episode with Sienna, but the last episode we talked about it, which is you can't, you can't make a decision from that video is my stance. From that video alone, you can't make a decision. And then secondly, this shouldn't be a thing that's, if this is real, this should have never been brought to social media because it's like destroying two 17, 18 year old kids mental health and it could destroy an innocent person's future could be the truth that jack's saying i have no idea yeah i pretty we'll much feel never identical. Know. Yeah. yeah and i feel pretty much identical to you josh i don't think that first video convinces me of anything i think i i'm not saying it's great behavior but I, it's certainly if if that behavior is going to classify as a sexual like allegation like that's i think that's a little extreme and, and the fact they a, were sitting yeah. on the video for so long didn't post it for so long it's edited that first video is that, not that's the other thing right it's like he kept they kept filming together after that right like they kept hanging out yeah they but kept, there's like, the whole like yeah he was scared he couldn't get out type of thing like there's so yeah. many different angles for it but it, it, it's, it's yeah. just like it's we can't said, she said yeah because to that again, angle again it's like exactly her her thing would be like well i liked him and he just wants views so it, yeah. it, it is a he said she it's exactly what you said josh it's a he said she said i personally it's like a messy like high school breakup on social media that shouldn't right. be it's it's Correct. so wrong what's going on what they're doing and, and yeah it, it's just that's the world we live in and, and i'm clearly have gone through some shit that makes me jaded but if this is real it shouldn't be on social media it just no, no but i no, also think sienna should not have like sienna seems a smart intelligent girl speak for yourself i don't think yeah you yeah i agree people. i agree that that makes you look like you can't speak for yourself yeah or that you're gonna slip up and say and there's no legal thing going on so it's like why right. that was right. a little weird yeah yeah yeah, yeah and who i mean it, it might have... be from such a form of desperation too right like it might be like from such a you're at such a point of like seeing everything being like taken away from you brand deals followers likes like your career that you've pretty much built like 
probably doesn't have her school set up like she would have if she wasn't doing social media, like all these things. And then if it is true, right? Like what she's saying, if she's right to see all that fall apart around you, you're probably fucking grabbing at whatever you can and being like, I need help. I need help. I need help. What can I do? What can I do? Yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, a lot of people, I think, do make wrong decisions in PR with that. Oh, 100%. It, 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 it's tough. And maybe if we talk to Jack, I, I would find him believable. Yeah, that's or, the other thing. We haven't got to talk to him. We could have one conversation with him and be like, oh, shit. Yeah, we could change is, our minds completely. Is, is really telling the truth and then it completely changed. But again, I think the stance is you can't really have a fucking stance because it's a, it's only Jack only and Only they can, know, yeah. Only they can know what went on in this situation. The only, yeah, the only thing you can say is like, shouldn't be happening on social media if it's real. Correct. And, and I get their point, I guess, which is of all the shit and all the shit storm that's going out, they're basing it basically on this one video that will probably get crucified again. I yeah. think the three of us agree that isn't really conclusive of anything and that's like the spark that 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 is like the 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 initial surge that create that creates why people are like oh now he's saying this but it's a he said she because that video i will go to my grave yeah. saying that i think that people were more anything. i think people were more crucifying because they thought because we said the video doesn't prove anything we were like it, it can't happen it's not real but it's just like that video alone you can't take it correct yeah. And then they're saying two opposite stories. I, I think again. she was just a confused 16-year-old girl, really loved this boy. He gave her missed signals. There's so many red flags. It's just like a messy breakup. And I don't know why he made it so crazy, though. Right. And again, I maybe Sienna's totally crazy. I haven't gotten that yeah. vibe. Yeah, but we if totally you are, could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, if you're actually doing something that is like an assault or like are you gonna do it there with like her brother there and like sitting on a couch it just didn't seem like a place to do and it's it's like this the video is like this so yeah. i don't know it's tough maybe we will get jack on here his side i do think i'm yeah. sort of correct the people who like her are gonna believe her the people who don't aren't won't gonna like her and it's gonna be hard to switch anybody certainly what they did isn't gonna switch it mm -hmm. i don't think no you know, what I, you know what I did like, though, that the forensic guy, the cadence of his sentences were the exact same when he spoke on the podcast <laughs> as he does in the videos. Like, his str uh, sentence structure doesn't change. He has the perfect voice for that job. We were shitting that on his video, and he's like, that's mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I mean, know. But <laughs> that video, come on. Like, that, that actually, the he big may be no. a brilliant guy, get the evidence, but somebody has to look at that and be like, that, that, yo, that, that ain't right. That yeah. screams guilty, even if it's <laughs> yeah. the most truest yeah. thing of all time. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about when I said like those bus videos, like did yes, you ever yes, have that yes, when yes. you went to high school and <laughs> like, they'd wheel in the fucking TV yeah. and like, yeah. like play the warning, like don't play on train yeah, like tracks. Like dare try, uh, dare, yeah, dare, yeah, 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 exactly, like exactly. Yeah. And uh, like, again, shocking, like there's bots and shit. Yeah. I mean that it, it's a dirty Every, world. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, but, but it's a lot to go bothered. through for both of them. So, somebody is closer to the truth, and I do, there could and be half-truths, there could be anything. I but, just don't know who it is. Right. I just don't know who it is. Yeah.